This is the Criterion Creeps Podcast, and tonight we're talking about the second half of the Rebel Samurai 60s Swordplay Classics box set. What? And what an experience it has been, RJ. What an experience. Some would say it's definitely, out of the experiences you can have, it's definitely one of them. And in the midst of Creeptober of all times, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oof. God bless them. Two movies for you. Samurai Spy from 1965, directed by Masahiro Shinoda, and Kill from 1968, directed by Kihachi mm. Okamoto. First up, let's talk about that Samurai Spy, because it's Spine 112. 312, jeez. 112? What are you, drunk? Go, go, gone back in time here. <laughs> Good Lord. Just, he... You just want to say it. It's just so much easier to say. I can't. I can't believe we're so far in. Well, I mean, I can. I just don't like it. No, it makes you feel bad. Yeah, it's a bad feeling. But, yeah, continue. Well, I don't got a tagline for you, but I've got a what? summary for Samurai Spy. Mm-hmm. Years of warfare end in a Japan unified under the Tokugawa shogunate. And Samurai Spy Sasuke Sarutobi. I don't wow. know if that's, maybe it's Sasuke. Sasuke Sarutobi. Sasuke? Sasuke, tired of conflict, longs for peace. When a high-ranking spy named Tadawaki Koriyama defects from the Shogun to a rival clan, however, the world of swordsmen is thrown into turmoil. The After, whole world is? Yeah. Of swordsmen? Of, of swordsmen. After Ooh. Sasuke is unwittingly drawn into the conflict, he tracks Tadawaki, while a mysterious white-hooded figure seems to hunt them both. By tales and no one is who they seem to be. And the truth is far more personal than anyone suspected. Director mm. Masahiro Shinoda's Samurai Spy, filled with clan intrigue, ninja spies, and multiple double crosses, marks a Ooh. bold stylistic departure from swordplay film convention. <laughs> who wrote this thing, Jarrett? I don't know. Some asshole. Okay. <laughs> Like, okay. I just, it's strange, la- strange language choices in that. Language, I, don't, I don't know. Language. What, you know, words? Yeah. <laughs> Str- strange words in this thing where they use certain words and I go, hmm? Well, RJ, I, I've been waiting a long time just to finally be able to say this, but ninjas have arrived at the Criterion Collection. <laughs> <laughs> have we not had any before? I don't think think so what about um like harold and maude oh well we haven't watched that yet Spo- oh shit. spoilers asshole fuck damn, dinner, damn. Okay. my dinner of laundry <laughs> the... that's got a ninja in it yeah could you imagine if there was just a ninja in the back of the restaurant eating that'd yeah. be cool or or no it's during the uh the big fight in the parkade remember that scene uh n- yeah i haven't seen that movie well so for first of all, so we got ninjas, which I mean, I don't want to be like guy who's like ninjas, they're the best, because I'm not, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't care that much. I just was kind of like a little taken aback because when I saw Samurai mm-hmm. Spies, the title, and I was like watching this, and I went Samurai Spies, and then I'm like, whoa, 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 th- these are ninjas. Yes, they don't, they don't get called that. I, I didn't I think the think. two things went uh, usually went together, you know. No, yeah, usually it's that it's just Yojimbo and more Yojimbo. Maybe there's an assassin. No. I definitely know that when you get to the lone wolf and cub, there are definitely ninjas there for sure. But uh, I, I was not expecting them here. Nothing, nothing prepared me for this, and nothing prepared me for like so a lot of like all <laughs> of the Criterion films. It's very John Ford like. It's about the horizons. Yes. It's very yes. it's very horizontal. Well, mm-hmm. Samurai Spy has changed it all. It introduces the vertical cuz there is much jumping. Oh, <laughs> much much jumping. There's <laughs> jumping in this son of a bitch. Jumping like you ain't never seen in your entire life. Never. Let me tell you. Yeah. Like, you, what, what do they think this is? A Van Halen music video? Oh, you, uh, uh you might as well jump, Jared. Mm-hmm. Might as well go ahead. Um, and jump. 
Yeah, no, I, I was watching this thing and I went, holy shit. There's a lot of jumping. Huh? <laughs> uh, That's it. <laughs> was it like, okay, so what what's going down in Samurai Spy? Uh, I, I, I find that I am mentally confused at this point. Like all these Samurai movies kind of feel like the same movie. Other, other than Samurai Rebellion. These last mm. three movies, they blur a lot for me. But I definitely know yeah. Samurai Spy's got the ninjas. Yeah, Samurai um, Spy's got ninjas. It's got so there's the our main guy, our yeah. hero, some say Ooh. Sasuke, the denouement. Yeah, he's like I don't know, he's probably the the handsome guy in the movie. And then you got the the ninja who's all in like white. That's okay. S- uh, Sakon. Uh, Sasuke. No. Not, not Sasuke? No. I, you know better than to use the names for me. What, what does the character do? And then I, I'll be able to tell you. Right. If, well. I, I, don't, I don't know names. So I actually watched the little interview they did with the director, Mashahiro Shinoda, um, sure. they, that they have on the channel. Yeah. So I watched that just to kind of uh, have something to talk about <laughs> when we're talking yeah. about Samurai Spy. Uh, so this is a spy movie in the 60s so you're going to be influenced probably by the cold war that's going on in the world and and there's a lot of uh, ambiguity about who are the good guys who are the bad guys are there sides it's hard to say who's he going i don't to, know who the good guy is who, who's this who's the sasuke guy going to go with who's 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 going to win this is a thing that like everything i read about this movie mm. uh in the the Everyone just goes to this Cold War thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if ninjas. Where, where, where do the ninjas fit into this? The real world politics. Where, I mean, when do ninjas not fit into real world politics, Jerry? Why Why do you, Why is your vision so myopic? Hey, did you know that John Hinckley Jr., um, the, the failed assassin of uh, yeah. John, Ronald Reagan, he's got a YouTube channel. He's, he's doing country music. Who isn't nowadays, though? Who you know? isn't? Yeah, well, he is. So, yeah. I mean, assassins are a kind of ninja. <laughs> is it any good, his music? I, 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 didn't, I didn't bother to find out. You didn't listen? I just know that that's, that's, that's the American dream right there. Is to kill... Or attempt. Kill us. Attempt. He didn't... Attempt. He, he failed, RJ, I remember. Attempt... That. Attempted murder and then country record. We, murder sounds such an ugly word. How about a, a failed a failed assassin sounds classy. What about a failed negative encounter? Ooh, I see, you, I, I see you read my study. What about that, my friend? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> Samurai Spy. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I, I didn't even remember we were talking about this movie. Oh, yeah. well. So this movie opens up with... I'm going to try to remember a lot of it. It opens up with this, like, really well-staged, like, battle going on. And it's got this voiceover narration, like, this reportage over top of it. And you're like, yeah. what is this? Like, what, where did this footage come from? It, did they just happen to get some B-roll from, like, a another samurai movie that the studio was making at the same time? Maybe I don't know. Did you did that impress you at all? The because it's like wow, this is like a full on uh, samurai battle, and this is uh, and this I is mean, just I, like I after think that was cool. And this was just kind of like ah yeah. By the way, um, you know there, there was peace, there was wars. It, there always is some battle you've never heard of because you didn't go through like Japanese history class. You'll, you'll, mm. you'll, you have no idea what these battles are. but there maybe, some... maybe you didn't, but uh, I know a lot about feudal Japan. <laughs> um, well, tell me more. It. Uh, do you know Japan's an island? <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Okay. That's all I got. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Like, uh, I just assume the dates, times, and eras are... I assume that they checked that out. I don't know any sure. different. Yeah, we'll we'll go with it. I was it. like, I was like, yeah, sounds um, good to me. The, the, the one thing that uh, the director um, Mashihiro Shinoda pointed out is like, well, so this the main character he's made up. <laughs> I was like, okay, oh. uh, so the, the only note of is because I guess he could have been one of these like ten men 
that belonged to this other like legendary figure from not legendary, but another like historical man who did exist. And he's like, well, he is one of the guys who helped, but he didn't exist yeah. at all. Isn't that? Cr-? And it's like, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. What about? Uh... I didn't like. They really pump him up to be a real person, so. No, oh, of course they do. I yeah. mean, that's the, too bad, I guess. I mean, it's, yeah. But well, not too bad, but like that's too bad, you know. Right. Uh, so we get we get some nighttime street scenes, with uh, that kind of demonstrate ninja ness and like that ninja coolness, leaping in the air, jumping up, uh, things being thrown around your neck and being brought back down. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's like that spiky claw thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I like that thing. It's like a grappling hook, but it's used to grapple into people's like mm-hmm. uh throats. Yeah, and um, and and end their life. There's lots of those. There's lots of ninja stars. Oh yeah. Uh lots of ninja stars. There's darts. Like just um I don't even how what do you what would you call are they darts? They're just like sharpened sticks that they like wee sure. That's the sound they make Whee! Mm-hmm. Uh, when they come out. Um, sharpen sticks. And then uh, there's there's a lot of outfits, a lot of fancy stuff in this, like like, like a lot of fancy outfits. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. So there's political intrigue. Uh, people are going to the Sasuke guy asking for his help because there's fear that, hey, this other guy – who's a spy because they're all about spies. It's about spies and spies and layers of spying. And it's like, Hey, Mm -hmm. you're a spy. I'm a spy, but we got to get this spy because he's going to defect. And you're like, wait, but if he's a spy, wasn't he already over on that side? And wouldn't he've already just defected, but now he's going to like go back to where he was. Cause he, it's like, what? I don't know. I don't understand. Defections. You don't, you don't know the rules. I don't know the rules. Because if you, you you would have already defected if you already did it. So it's like, do they have to go get him? Or is he on the run because he defected? And now he's leaving the place where he'd be safe? I think you're asking too many questions, friend. Okay. Well, the, the next thing that jumps out at me uh, is as the, the journey begins of like, hey, let's go to that t- place mm-hmm. in, in feudal Japan uh, mm-hmm. and deal with stuff. There's like a lot of talk about an execution. And you're like, whoa, 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 mm. executions. They're like, what are they? Oh, they're going to crucify them. They're talking about Christians. I'm like, whoa, is this some silence? Some, some, uh, some Christian missionaries. They were, I mean, they've already dealt with those people. Yeah, but this, these are the, yeah. these are the people who've picked up on the uh, the message of Christ, and they're uh, and they're going to they're, they're they're a problem. Have they been saved though? Well, not not from getting uh, crucified, maybe on a uh, beach somewhere with spears through their arms and lifted up high. I've seen some, what's, gr- what's so I, wrong with that? I've seen some, uh, I've seen some photos. I, I remember rotten.com. <laughs> oh, Jarrett. Oh. I've seen some historical images and you're like, good God. What, what the fuck? Why are people so, did you mean? say historical images? Yes. On rotten.com. Yep. Wow. I'm somewhere. You know, it's the internet, RJ. It's wild times. Are you talking about like the current you, day you, pictures you, that get added? You ever to seen Rotten? the? You ever seen those crime? The, the 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 was it the? Never mind. It's grim. I don't want you to talk about this. Darkness. Yeah, I don't want you to talk about it either. Yeah. Let's move on right from that. Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's best for everybody. Yes. So what else you got going on over there? Um. So we get introduced to uh, what's the name of the the Christian man. Uh, I think it's Buck Catholic. Buck Catholic. Yeah, I told you I don't know names. There, there is one Christian guy. Yeah. Uh, I think there's two Christian guys. No, there's one that's more so than anyone else. Yeah, but he seems he seems like a nice boy, and he's, he does. And, and he seems to be served up. Uh, yeah. Basically, because it's like, well, we need this guy uh, to basically serve as our cover. Yeah. And so it's like, unfortunately, it sucks to you, bud. Because we're we're spies. Yeah. Well, everyone's a spy in this. It seems like there's everyone's either a double spy, a triple spy, or the even rarer seven spy. Oh man! So isn't that well? I mean, depending. Is this like a David Mamet film? 
Seven Spy? Yeah, Seven Spy. That'd be a cool name for... Uh... No, it'd be a terrible name. Seven Spy? Yeah, it's real bad. That's what, what about I mean, may, maybe in a Spiven. Metal Gear Solid game, that'd be cool. There's a character named Seven Spy. What about Spevin? Spevin? Spenny? It's a mix between Seven and Spy. Spevin. Spencer? Spencer's a weird name, hey? Yeah. Do you think anyone gets... Do you think anyone gets named Spencer anymore? I don't know. That's a good. Have to look it up. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm just going. I'm going to assume <laughs> it doesn't happen. Um. Let's see here. There's a bridge scene. <laughs> sure, there is. And one of the things I learned from the director mm-hmm. was that uh, I guess they were doing some experiments with or they're trying to shoot like with an anamorphic lens but they didn't put it on properly and so you know that bit where they're crossing the river and then suddenly there's like a water reflection over the figure yeah yeah so, so that was an accident that they just that said wasn't a... they, they just went with it he's like yeah that looks fine that looks cool hmm. sure it goes into his psychology <laughs> he's like nope that was a pure fuck up but it looked i mean that... as far as fuck ups go it looks perfectly fine and you're just like huh they just they tried it out. Um, I mean, hey Jared, I don't even know this, but most of science was just most of scientific discoveries were just mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just things that happened, and people went, "Oh shit, did you see that? That's crazy." Yeah. And then you go, "Oh, cool, 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 cool." Uh, what were you talking about? Oh, mistakes. Yeah. Well, yeah. This guy, I mean, that's kind of yeah. interesting. Well, this guy makes a mistake. Um. He he meets up with a a, a nice looking lady, mm-hmm. and um, well, she winds up dead, and he's and he's the suspect. She's just full dead. Yep, and he's yeah. like, ah, be- god damn it, I better best be going now. He said, "I've seen a lot of dames before, but this is definitely a dame I seen this time. She's dead." Yep, she's a dead dame. Yep, so it's, it's kind of like a. It sounds like a noir to me. A noir? A noir. Yeah, in one capacity. In another capacity, you could say it's not. So they 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 they've pulled him back in to to this to the conflict that he didn't want to get be a part of. He just wanted to be, be chill. He just wanted to be chill. Yeah. He did just want to kind of like wait, no? Yeah. Or not even wait, just be left alone like all old no guys do or guys approaching old age i suppose exactly i i'm not gonna lie i watched this movie i was paying attention pretty well but there were so many spies and double spies that after a while i was kind of like i'm not gonna keep track of this anymore yeah that's like up here same (laughs) my my mental my mental tax on this thing was at a certain point i went i'm not gonna keep track of who's a spy anymore i'm just gonna see how things play out Right, and I, I think that was the right call, to be honest. Yeah. So well, I don't know. I don't know what you think. Well, but... in, the, in the movie, we get we get a nice little climax. Yeah. We get some some fighting, some death, oh, what? some 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 battles. That we get, we get like who's who's the toughest of the two. Well, who do you think was the toughest of the two? Well, whoever the most handsome is, of course. Well, out of out of the people who've been on the podcast, who's the most handsome? You mean like guests? Yeah. Jeez, I mean. <laughs> Not to hurt feelings, oh, but man. people want to know who the most handsome one was. Because hmm. we've never had any women, so. <laughs> women can be handsome. Uh, I mean, they can, I guess. Yeah. Sure, sure. So out of everyone. Damn, I don't know. Who fits your handsome report? I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that one. What would you? Yep. I'll tell you off air. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't want people to know. Yeah, so Samurai Spy is mm-hmm. um, it expects you to be invested in it in a way that Very. I, f- I found difficult to become invested in. It looks nice. Yeah. Uh, both these movies look pretty good. This one in particular looks really great. Uh, some of the violence is far more uh, excessive than I was expecting it to be. People die all the time in this thing, which a lot. You, you'd expect. I would be like, damn, I love it. I love this mayhem. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, I don't know who any, I don't know what's going on. 
you see an arm get cut off, uh, cut off, and you go, "Whose arm was that? Whose arm was that?" It doesn't matter. You never, you never, there's no follow. Oh, it's just a drone. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's just a guy. It's one of the jobbers oh. to put the uh-huh. to put the the talent over. To do the what? Sorry. Do the job. Put the talent over. Oh my god, I've never heard such language before. It's uh, some carny talk. Oof, oof. Uh, so tell me how you really feel. Uh, that is how I feel. This okay. is. It's a nice looking movie. I guess if you're into these Shanbara films, you know, samurai movies, uh, this one's fine. Mm-hmm. It's not, it didn't stick out any particular way, but that seems to be the theme of a lot of this box set at this point. Yeah. Outside, yeah. Of, Sam, outside of Samurai Rebellion, which I think is like a really good movie. Okay. What about you? Yeah. How do you feel about this samurai spying? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of like a kind of weird i um i like a lot of things in this movie i was kind of like oh that's neat and i like that um but it's kind of like we were just already talking about there was it's not like a difficult movie to follow but at a certain point i stopped caring to keep track and i was just like i was like i'm gonna stop paying attention to who these people are a little bit and i'm just gonna kind of watch it for what it is um and i i i I do think that was kind of the right call because i the things that I did see, I was like, oh, cool. There's an arm getting chopped off. Oh, hey, <laughs> there's more jumping. That's cool. I like seeing jumping. Yeah, and then jumping into the whiteness. Yeah, just by yeah. six million dollar man style. Like, yeah. uh, that's the oh, sound that's in that oh, show. Oh, the slow motion. Yeah, just, but also like 50 feet in the air, which I kind of like. Yep. Uh, I feel like this movie is very, uh, I feel like this box set is quentin tarantino like uh style you know what i mean we're like so, these movies this one and the next one especially feel like uh spaghetti westerns a little bit oh, to me sp- well especially kill <laughs> especially kill yeah kills a spaghetti western but it also has got like um i don't know i was kind of like i bet it's like these seem like movies old quinn likes you know I, I mean, I call him Quinn because uh, me and him are on a personal basis. But uh, I was like, I feel like these are uh, some shows that that dude was into. Um, so Samurai Spy, like, I like the idea. I think it's cool. And there's good setup to a lot of the scenes, like um, a lot of the spy stuff. And, like, some of the big scenes with lots of actors, I think, are nice. But uh, it is – it's not um, – it's not super polished and it seems like it should be and i that's the thing like i'm i don't care too much about acting or production it's like if it's a good story i'll like it um but this one it seemed like they had a lot of money uh for production and like the actors were kind of or like seemed all good but um it seemed like it was missing something a little bit like there was just uh something that wasn't quite there and i was like oh that's too bad but uh i i didn't mind it just yeah. at the same time, I was kind of like, yeah, 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 whatever. So it was uh, decent. How does this compare to uh, the previous Shinoda movie that we've talked about? Double Suicide. Holy fuck. It's it, it's way better than that. I'll tell you that much right now. In my in my mind, at least, I don't really remember Double Suicide. I just remember not liking it very yeah. much. And that was when we were way, we went way softer on movies. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine if we watch that fucking thing now? Mm -hmm. Not a chance, pal. Not a chance. Well, I believe uh, (laughs) your review for it, 2018, Double Suicide, the end game of the Criteria Increase project. So So Doesn't it seem uh, like it's getting closer and closer all the time? Well, I mean, it seemed like it was in sight in 2018, and here we still are. Uh, For now. And Maximus Mansteel said, I like this comment. Then I felt bad, but I'm leaving the like. I guess that says it all. Yeah, because people understand. People understand the plight and the uh, just the, the journey. And you know what's going to happen when we actually do the double suicide? Yeah. Like six people are going to be pretty sad. O- on the air. <laughs> yeah, six people will be pretty sad. Couple of people will be happy. I know Oliver Granger is going to be relieved. <laughs> He'll be so happy. He'll be a holy fuck finally. <laughs> what took you so long? Well, I mean, he's he's pretty much been asking me to do it for <laughs> wow, really, a year or two. <laughs> Not in those words. <laughs> I, I can, but I can see through the fine print. She's Louise. Hey, I he, can read he, he, yeah, he was sending me uh, videos of making uh, wheat cakes. 
Ah, Aunt May's wheat cakes? Yep. Did they look good? Uh, they look good. I think he said they were very, like, bitter or something like that. And I said, just like Aunt May's soul. Oof. Aunt May had a heart of gold. Come no. On. She was a she was a real bitch. What? You think Aunt May was a bitch? <laughs> uh, this is news b- to me. Bitch with an exclamation mark. Much like our second oh. film of the night. Sure. Kill. Kill? I think In what capacity? Nothing about this movie is as much fun as being able to just say kill. Kill. So this about, got, so this, uh, this one's Kiru. obviously this one's obviously got the best title. Oh, hands down. Uh no question. And would hence, you know, maybe have the most promise. But boy oh boy, RJ. I looked at that that runtime of a hundred and fourteen minutes. Oh boy. <laughs> That is, uh, I saw that too, and I went, that is substantial. Cause, yeah, because it's not like, um, you know, S- S- Samurai Spy is also like 140 minutes, and it's like, oh, this is two hours. Great. Out- outstanding. So, I mean, yeah. yeah. So, Kill, it is from uh, Kihachi Okamoto, who also directed The Sword of Doom. Uh, I, I didn't really feel that myself, but from uh, what you were seeing here, you yeah, that sort of Doom style for it. Did this not. is a very different movie than sort this because this is a comedy. This is a comedy, a comedy western. Mm-hmm. I've seen uh, some describe it as a black comedy, and I'm like, no, it's just it's a com- It's pretty. It's a it's pretty it's silly movie. Comedy. Yeah, yeah. Um, this has a full on. Like Morricone style score, like mm-hmm. it is just spaghetti western music, and yeah. it's really not even being like, "Hey, we know these movies are kind of alike. We're still making our movies in black and white, though, because it's cheaper that way." And that's just kind of the cliche now. But so this is following on. It's like a send up almost of Kurosawa movies. Uh, because it's because it, is, cause it actually, is it yeah. is based on it is still it's based on the same story that Ujimbo is. The same Ujimbo story? Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, but okay. but, but they decided, hey, let's make it a a buddy show. <laughs> a little buddy comedy. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, it is a. Uh, it's kind of like. It is a buddy comedy, but the straight man, funny man line is a little bit harder to pick. It's strong man, skill man. I guess it's smart man, be, dumb man. I think maybe, maybe it's more Sanjuro than Yojimbo. Sanjuro? Yeah, which is also basically like Yojimbo. We've seen Sanjuro. We have. a guy. He's we, a friend of ours. He's a yeah, old, old uh, T Myth. T Myth. I like to call him Tosh. I know. Toshi, me and Toshi, we hang out. Me, uh, me, Toshi, and uh, Quinn, we're all hanging out from time to time. So the synopsis from Letterboxd for Kill from 1968: yeah. A pair it? of down on their luck swordsmen arrive in a dusty, wind-blown town where they become involved in a local clan dispute. One, previously a farmer, longs to become a noble samurai. Hey, it's just like that movie, like. We just watched uh, Ujutsu, um, mm. which is also about a farmer who wants to be a samurai. The other, a former samurai haunted by his past, prefers living anonymously with gangsters. But when both men discover the wrongdoings of the nefarious clan leader, they side with a band of rebels who are under siege at a remote mountain cabin. Man, it's just like Star Wars. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's, it's, it's just... It's as much like Star Wars as Hidden Fortresses. <laughs> Almost uh, did, more. Did you see there was that um the uh there's like a recent episode of like there's like those Star Wars animated shorts that they've been doing on Disney Plus and there's the one oh, yeah. that's got like very heavy like Japanese kind of visual influence and there's some guys that were like saying I don't like samurai stuff in my Star Wars <laughs> and whole oh, man People were coming at them hard, talking about Hidden Fortress. <laughs> and I was just like, you all suck. You're all mm. bad. You're all, b- every single one of you, bad. I, yeah, that's that's just a bad take. 
just outright. Okay. So, RJ, we have another yeah. samurai movie in the exact same box set uh, yeah. about a guy who in, with, who's helping out rebels who live in the hills. Yeah. Uh, in sort of like this abandoned town. It's not a mining town, but if you're in the hills, it's probably some mining that was going on at some point. And yep. there's like a, a buddy that's kind of like a goofball who wants to be a samurai and plays that. And then there's a guy who's got a haunted past to which I go, wait a minute. I just watched Sword of the Beast and I'm watching mm. Kill, but, but Kill's longer. It's in, and it's like the weird thing because it's like Sword of the Beast is only an hour and a half. This is two hours long. Yes, it is. And yes, it is. And, whole, and holy, I felt every minute of it. Uh, of Kill? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Tell me about it. Tell you about it. So yeah, tell me about Kill. I don't know. I, it's it's all it's in the summary. <laughs> yeah, it it, it is. It, it, it is. It's it, it's it's what it is. Uh, there's battles. There's skirmishes sure. and fights. Yeah, there's a couple of those. But it's. But then they. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> tell tell me more. Tell I'm, me. I. I'm, yeah, I'll tell you. About I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick of the samurai shit. I hate it. I know. I, 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 I am too. I, I, I'm done. I'm done with samurais. I don't. I mean, I think now that we've watched, uh, so I keep track. We've watched this year, RJ and our creep since. Uh, okay, these are Japanese January? movies. Since since January, I'm looking at, over at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight out of you know not we're not fifty two yet but we've watched eight samurai movies and that's if you can count Harry Curry, which mm. I don't know that it does, it's that's debatable. Uh, Yujetsu yeah, is Harry also Curry's a samurai film. And Yujetsu sure. is debatable because there's a guy who wants to be a samurai, but it's mostly like a good chunk of it's it about ghosts. So sure, so eight, yep. eight of them, and we had to watch a movie called Less Samurai. Ah, uh, the incel pick. Yeah, yeah, I I know it's been a samurai uh, slog for a considerable amount of time. So, so much like Sword of the Beast, RJ, you can tell me about Kill. All right, so we got this movie called Kill, Jarrett. We got some fun, fun stuff in the intro, and I'm not gonna lie to you, Jarrett. I can tell why you're fatigued, but here's the bottom line: I kind of liked Kill. I thought it was fun. It is too long. I will say that up front. It is too, too long. This took me three days to finish this movie. Whoa, okay. That's not good. Took me three days. So what Well, what happened was because my movie watching time has been cut a little bit. So I watched like 50 minutes one day and was like, cool, cool. And then the next day I watched like 30 minutes and that was all I could get. And I was like, okay, okay, that's almost there. And then the next day I had to watch another like 20 minutes or something. It took me three days to watch this. So maybe that's why I'm a... Uh, little bit more positive on it because i spread it out a little bit mm-hmm. but you, it shouldn't take you three days to watch no movie, which <laughs> i realize it's only a one word title kill. <laughs> it, should, it, should, it should not take you long to watch it's called yeah. kill kill no it's not, it took me a while but um okay so i like i like a few things about this and so well, yeah, I, 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 I noticed like you, it, I, you gave you gave us a male bonding tag so I kind of had a feeling you might like this one. This is this movie. This whole movie is about male bonding, but for me, it's all Through about violence. Yes, it's all about farm uh, super strength farm boy, which is a funny joke. And then uh, our buddy from uh, Harry Kiri, who is young in this, because that's who that is, right? The Harry Kiri guy. <laughs> He's young. Well, in Harry Kiri, they old him up a little bit. Right. Yes, that is yeah. that, that is uh, Tetsuya Nakadai. Did you notice he had a uh, bamboo sword in this? Just hey, like uh, you, you noticed that he's actually in a bunch of movies uh, that we've watched. Yes, yes so I know. He's in Seven Sam. Uh, mm-hmm. He'll be in Ran, which we'll be watching later Let's this see. year because we got to watch yeah. ten samurai movies this year by George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Um, high and low. Kawai Dan, Sanjuro, Yo Jimbo, Samurai Rebellion, he was even in somewhere. Mm. Mm. That's one of his moves. I like him. I sort think of he's, Doom. I think yeah. he's good. He's all over the place. Yeah. He, he's good. I like him. And I, I think he fits the role of uh, his Yakuza traveling man who is um, just kind of like 
you can tell he he's kind of like Splinter. You can tell he he can do stuff and fuck people up. He just doesn't want to. And he's a rat. And he's a rat. You know how like you know you know about Splinter, right? Like he they don't only bring Splint, Splinter out into actual fighting once in a while. And when he when Splinter came out, you went holy fuck. And and then he made a funny. And then he did make a funny. Ha ha ha. As a man gets compacted into a garbage truck and is brutally murdered and everyone laughs. Uh, yeah. So we got farm boy who is in a movie we watched this and he was in one of these four, wasn't he? Or maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't fucking matter. Farm boy. Super strength is good. Yakuza guy is also good. We have a, when I started this and we have the slapstick intro of them chasing down that chicken, the it was honest. Like, I don't know what it was, but I was like, this is like comedy that gets used a lot today where it's like one guy does tries to get the chicken and then someone walks through and he doesn't get it. He goes, ah, damn. And then the next guy, they partner up and they're like, ooh, chicken. And then they both try to get this chicken and someone walks through again and they go, ah, damn. And, like, the repetitiveness of it, I was like, this seems like a family guy, like, skit. Like, it's this similar, like, vein to me for some reason. But uh, I liked that. I thought it was good. And then they, uh, you know, they set up some samurai stuff, which is fine. And then you get neighboring clans, which is fine <laughs> as well. And, like, that's what I mean. Like, there's that stuff in it where I was like, ah, whatever. I don't care too much about the clans. You got the you have the seven samurai that are held held up and they're the least sympathetic, I think, because even though you're kind of supposed to root for them, you you don't really. But uh, you get them, you get a uh, big, strong farm boy. He's kind of blending in with this clan of uh, where, where you have actors who were in other of the movies we've watched. Like, I think a couple of the Harry Curie guys were in part of the, that clan, too. The, the sure. Show. Sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, he's blending in. It's fun. He's lifting up beams that support houses because he's horny, and that's just how he does it. Mm-hmm. Remember how horny he was, Jarrett? Oh, of course I do. Remember? Uh, how, how, how could we forget? How could we forget? It's hilarious. Uh, you have some savage stick beatings in mm-hmm. this film. Yep. Don't forget about those. Some um, pretty good stick beatings. And then... Um, then what happens? I don't know. <laughs> There's arrows at some point. Uh, a lot of guys are fighting. <laughs> oh, that was in that was in Samurai Spy too. Actually, one thing I did like in Samurai Spy, because uh, they all blend, like you said. They I liked sure the did. I liked the blend or the mix of like you have these guys that are like we will defeat you, and they have like samurai swords, and then there's other dudes with guns that are like pew, and they just kill them, and it happens quite a bit, and you're just like oh, you feel bad for them. You're like they could have won if it was a sword fight. It's like, yeah, but, you know, time marches on, Jarrett. Technology marches on. Innovation. German innovation. Innovation. So uh, there was that, too. Uh, I don't know. I, I like some of the comedy stuff in this. It is um, it is definitely goofy. Uh, and sometimes comedy can be dated. But I actually, I some of the stuff in this I thought was timeless, type comedy and i was like i'm on board with this this is okay but uh in terms of kill uh it is i liked it but it is definitely it's too long and there's a lot of stuff i don't care for but other than that i was kind of like ah i was like this is i was like surprisingly something that i have attention for so (laughs) that and and that's pretty much the best compliment it'll it'll just take you three days to watch it did take me three days to watch but apparently that was to the movie's benefit is that it took me that long mm-hmm. well you know it's creeptober it's hard to get these uh these criterions in during creeptober. yeah it definitely doesn't help doesn't do us any favors yeah doesn't do us any favors especially when they're double headers but oh, what are you gonna do yeah this and is the life we chose this is the life we chose well it doesn't help when i also you know I, I see the activity that these uh, these movies have gotten so far on the old YouTube, and I can see that it's like a lot of people don't really care about these either, despite the fact that the internet would lead you to believe that it cares a great deal about samurais. Hmm. But I think well, they like. Who I, care I, think, about I, I, I think they like the idea of the samurai. 
they like the watch idea of it and more they, than they, they actually they'll, like they'll it. Watch, they'll watch the Kurosawa ones, but then when these, there's these deep cuts. And this is one of those box sets that, I mean, it's been around forever. And when I was more sympathetic to the samurai cause, and I'd be like, yeah, I'll pick these up. They'll be a lot of fun, fun Japanese movies with questionable attitudes toward women. But I don't care about that. I'm a man. I like samurai swords and ninjas. Uh, I, I would have almost got sucked into this, but I've never bought this. And I'm this set, and I'm really glad I didn't. It sounds problematic, Jarrett. A different time, RJ. Sounds extremely problematic. Yeah, extremely problematic. But uh, it seems like a lot of the internet is still on that page of being problematic. Oh yeah, or being samurai. <laughs> Both. <laughs> it's all entwined. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. No. So, I suppose. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. I um, mixed bag for me. There are a lot of things I like about them. And there's some stuff I don't. So I don't know. It is what it is. You know. Yeah. Uh, when you, you, They really lose me when it's like, hey, y- y'all like samurais? I'm like, eh, not really. You like comedies? No. <laughs> you go, no, 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 no. It's like Sword of the Beast, though. Like this, It's the same plot. <laughs> it's like, no. Like, you go, oh, I, I, didn't, no. I don't I don't want that ever. And it's like, oh, here you go. You, you got to you got to watch it and you got to talk about it. And it's like, great. I'll be See, I'll be right here on my phone. Mm. <laughs> like, just, like, See there there is something about uh the actors in this and their chemistry together and how and it's like we didn't bring it up, but the male bonding in this Jared is something to behold. This is uh, this is just like wild hogs, you know, two dudes just Ooh, being like dudes. Wild hogs, you say? Just like wild hogs. It's just boys being boys, my man, and uh, they're figuring out this crazy life together. <laughs> what happens at the end? Well, we all learn something. Oh, what, something what, about each no, other what, and something what, about no, ourselves. What, what actually happened at the end of the movie? Oh fuck, I don't remember <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I know that they're held up for a while. I know that one dude gets a shit beat out of them, and then they yep. go and they uh, kind of have like a standoff. But um... remember how good uh, apparently the the sword fights and sword of the beast are? No, they're not exactly. They're not. I mean, I'm sure people think they are, but they're not. Yeah. So, so it's great. It's great. Uh, you, you you want to hear from people who hate <laughs> these movies? Yeah, why not? Why not? Samurai Spies up first from Nick Stradamus. Nick Stradamus. One and a half stars. Endless, oh incoherent exposition. The movie. There is a mm. little bit of that. Mm-hmm. There is no question that this is a beautifully shot and composed. With some fine camera work and sumptuous visuals. Sumptuous? Sumptuous. There's also no question that it is deeply painful to punch through its story impenetrably dense as the movie dumps endless names and places by the bucket load without giving you time or context to connect them to you or each other. In turn, this strips most any meaning from anything that's happening. It's an overwhelming experience in the literal sense and kept me from enjoying it, and often understanding much of the film. A second pass would probably prove much more useful, but life is short. Life is short. <clears throat> a little too short for me, Jer. Uh This person is what you would call a basic bitch, I believe, in terms of uh, film preferences. Five stars to, you know, some good movies, but also things like The Room, Die Hard, Ferris Bueller, Empire Strikes Back. You know, it's just basic stuff. Not that they're bad movies, but it's, you know, Jared. When you've reached the pinnacle, man, you, all you can do is look down and be like, I got my Ferris Bueller DVD. I got, I'm set. I'm set. Uh, the bi- This person's bio includes just a guy who loves the hell out of movies. Good ones and especially terrible ones. Trying to stick to a personal challenge. Of watching a movie for every day of the year. Uh, tracked by month. I saw 413 movies in 2018. 
614 movies in 2019 and 875 movies in 2020. This place helps keep me myself accountable. Now, Jared, in your biggest year, what number did you hit? Was it a thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this guy's got nothing on you. Yeah. Fuck him. Well, I mean, we we know a few people who have uh, done that on a, on a regular basis, and they don't make these dec- they don't need to be making declarations. <laughs> Almost every other weekend, I think, mm-hmm. for some of these dudes. No. Yep. Like. You know, like almost, you know. So anyways, seems like a fine fellow. A fine fella. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, maybe you'll, maybe you got some names for this next person who I'm positive we've talked about on the show before. Robert Armitage. Yes. Or that's a name of some something similar nah, to an actor's name. Nah, it's, it's got to be somebody. One and a half stars. Tripe. <laughs> It begins with a short history lesson, then doesn't stop with a pedantic anti-war dialogue and broadly drawn greedy, sneaky people. I quickly lost all ability to care who was who and what was going on. (laughs) Hey, RJ, that sounds pretty familiar. The action is just as broadly drawn with much brandishing of weaponry. At one point, our hero is en route to rescue his woman love, a marriage proposal directly after a slaughter scene in The Offering. Or in the offing, when he is mm-hmm. blocked by the usual peon gang attack used in most all samurai movies, he lower mm-hmm. he he lowers brandishes his staff horizontally and uses the power of emotional hardcore to bolt through. Emotional hardcore, yeah. Huh. Weird. Weird. Uh, Ar- R- Robert Armitage, Jared. Yeah. Bob. Bob himself. I was going to... Oh, shit, what was it? I found something here on this person. And now I've forgotten it. Did you crack the case? Not really. Uh, I mean, they have movies they like, like Gimme Shelter and Mad Max Fury Road and The one. Cincinnati Kid and Master of the Flying Guillotine. So, you seem to be okay. Uh, what the fuck was it? I was going to... There was something I saw, and I was like, ooh, that's an interesting point to bring to the podcast. And now I've forgotten it. But, hey, I mean, that guy brought up some points that we did, right? Some peons. The, the, well, the, the, well, the peons that show up and get smashed. Yeah, well, peepees. And then, you, like. and then you just stop caring about what anyone's name is, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> I mean, to be uh, like to be honest, up front, I never care care about names but uh oh i remember i was gonna say tripe does he mean trite because isn't tripe a kind of like meat uh well it's like leavings though it's just it's like kind of like a less desirable oh, yeah. oh okay that you make like it's awful <laughs> it's i thought it's, i thought he you, meant trite like it is like yeah, unnecessary yeah, tri- well yeah often that is kind of yeah there's tripe as a, as a thing yes and tripe sounds gross yeah, it's the like uh, the mild tasting stomach lining of beef, pork, or lamb, often served in soup. I don't know if you've mm-hmm. ever had any tripe. I haven't, but I know what it is, and I've uh, I've seen tripe on menus before, and I went, mm, no, thank you. <laughs> this is, doesn't sound very good, does it? Mm 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 mm. That's what I was gonna bring up was I got, tripe. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like tripe. Ooh, man, so, I don't know if I want to. This is like. A lengthy a one, big RJ. Boy? Oh, there's two lengthy ones here in the on kill. Just do like, just do like half. Ah, we'll see. It's Nick Land Langdon. Holy shit! Okay. I was just praising John Houston for his ability <clears throat> to introduce a lot. Lo- just you know, the other day. You know, the other day I was uh, I was just praising John Houston uh, for his uh, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> His admiration of the horizon, him and John Ford, you know, yeah, like, oh, uh, you, you, you uh, can save. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I just bring it up while I review this other okay, movie, well, not related. Let, let's unpack. Let's see what they actually say here. Mm-hmm. I was just praising John Houston for his ability to introduce a lot of characters and their various relationships very efficiently building a complete and believable world, but one that is instantly comprehensible. If you want the exact opposite of that, then kill is the movie for you. The title might promise great excitement, but sadly, my only reaction was bored. 
<laughs> Apparently, Boring. this is some sort of satire of samurai films, but that might just be an excuse for its more conventional narrative failures. I can also see moments when there were attempts at wit, but this film is too comedic... Um, or, or this film is too comedic success with the Ford Edsel was to automotive innovation. Get the fuck out of here. With whatever, whatever like weird ass personal what? knowledge that is. Uh, you don't know about the old Ford Edsel? You know, Ford Edsels and uh, their uh, fuel mileage. Let me tell you about it, son. Well, that's why, you know, that's why no one knows about it, RJ. Cause it's, that's what he's trying to say. That's is that's the ultimate dig. Did you guys know that a flower found only in Ohio is the highest flower of all flowers? And then you'd be like, nobody cares. But This is more like two very long hours of a competent cover band doing mediocre versions of the hits you know and love. In this case, Akira Kurosawa seems to be the unwitting donor of what little inspiration is evident here. There's continual references to the Seven, which is seemingly referencing his all-time classic, The Seven Samurai, 1954. <laughs> and this tale of wandering swordsmen getting mixed up in local politics is like Yojimbo, 1961, or Sanjuro, 1962, except you don't care about anyone or anything in the frame. Said frames are often full of weather, which was another Kurosawa trademark, but too much of it, leaving certain scenes seemingly occurring during a dust storm. The acting, fight scenes, and editing also seems very much like the master's work, but executed the master, the master but executed far more sloppily. The least lovable aspect of The Hidden Fortress in 1958 was that we were never given enough of the background to become emotionally engaged in the story of conflict between various lords. And this is like that, only far, far worse. Because there's far more non-entities that, I guess, technically count as characters, quotes. Really, there's nothing much else to say about Kill, and no reason really to watch it unless you're some kind of Shambara Jidakai completist. Japan has come with many slow-paced and minimalistic activities over the years, from growing bonsai trees to origami to Sudoku. What they have in common is that they're all more interesting to both do and watch someone else do than sit through kill man i i almost want to like give this movie an extra half a star despite this guy despite this person yeah i i kind of agree with everything with everything he says or with my sentiment with you with you with you do you want to hear about nick landon no i don't but go ahead their bio there's no need to provide an explanation of what your star rankings mean that's the reason star rankings were invented in the first I place. I feel like this sounds familiar. We maybe have talked about this person before. Actually, I'm going to talk about their half star films, which uh, sound. This looks like new to me. But uh, I mean, I know that. I know what they mean oh about Oh my the star God. Rankings. The comment section is. T- guys make the, the same two people making j- jokes about the, the Ford Etzel. Get the fuck out of here with that Ford Etzel bullshit. Nobody knows what that is. I could talk about some random ass shit that no one knows about. That doesn't mean I'm smart. Someone just here, means I know about that thing. Someone here wrote in response. It actually, Nick did. Amusingly, your review also mentioned a Ford motor car. <laughs> what's, Fuck r- out of here. what's wrong with these people? Fuck out of here. Uh, so I mean, uh, so there's the star rating thing is uh, weird because it's like, well, star rating. Their ratings are subjective anyways. As much as people think it's objective, it's not. Everybody's subjective. But check out these ratings, Jarrett. Half a star to Gone Baby Gone. Half a star to Punch Drunk Love. Half a star to Dazed and Confused. Half a star to Brick. Half a star to Dancer in the Dark. Half a star to Life is Beautiful. Half a star to Goonies, Jarrett. (laughs) And I'm not like one of those goon heads that uh, gives a, Goonies five stars, but a, I think a gooner. Goonies, a gooner, but go- Goonies is definitely not a half a star film. Definitely not. So this person's a real dink. <laughs> a real dink. A real dingling. Yeah, uh-huh. that, 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 I mean, man, it's been a while since I've uh, read one of these that I. 
got to really sink my teeth into <laughs> that you go oh no oh dear where they almost convince yeah. me to like a movie despite them that's always a, that's an accomplishment i mean that's hey it seems like it's working right well let's let's find about one more Niels okay. Matthews Underhund. That's oh yeah, Underhund. Yeah, it of sounds course. like Lithuanian. Of course. Oh, I think it's South African. Okay. Because I think because of their their pins is Antwerp, which I think is South Africa, but I could be wrong. Antwerp, you say? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Ants? Uh, Werp? Oh, it's you... Belgium. <laughs> Well, RJ, this is, this is hence hence me going Lithuanian, but you know, it's South African. Trust me. I was kind of like, you know that band Die Antwerd? Have yeah, you ever heard of them? I, I Antwerd, yes. Yeah, not well, Ant- like, Ant- Antwerp. I thought it was a play you on need, words. You need to watch more James Bond movies with diamonds. No, I'm not going to. But well, okay, that's all you. That's what you learn about the world. You watch James Bond movies. Well, this guy's will put hair on your chest. Well, actually, wait. So he's from Belgium, and South Africa is primarily Dutch, or not primarily, wow, but they're, well, a they're, lot of them are Dutch. They, you mean the colonists? The colonists that live there, <laughs> the Boers. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not far off. I oh my god! Don't, don't even try this. The horrible. I think I, I they're think all, I they're, and they're, they're all horrible people. Well, especially well, the Belgians and their tin tin. Well, I mean, Tintin's something else, but uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. George Hofschmeider doesn't write in anymore, so he's what watching, are you going to do? But he's watching movies. He is. He is. Bless, and that's his, what, bless his heart. That ma- that's what matters. So what's this guy saying? I'm not a big fan of Chambara samurai films, which is so much required to get the most out of Kill. It isn't entirely straight-laced, uh, straight-faced, and toys of genre conventions, but that's difficult to appreciate when you don't care much for the genre. Okamoto based Kill on the same material as Kurosawa Sanjiro. There you go. A film I've seen but hardly remember anything about. A Ronin arrives in a barren town, <laughs> hoping to find a bit of work. The town looks deserted. Not too long ago, an uprising took place there, so the Ronin appears to be dead out of luck. Okay. Desperate for food, he gets caught in a local feud that goes way above his head, but his will to survive is strong. There's like an entire character he's just neglected. Well, I mean, I don't think they're they're trying that hard. Kill is just a smidgen over the top, which doesn't read as very funny when you're not too versed in rules of the genre. I mostly saw a very familiar setup of the usual elements I dislike about Chambara cinema, crude characters, uninteresting drama, and poor action scenes. Maybe I'll revisit it once I've seen more core genre efforts, but for now, this was a big disappointment so are they saying that they're not versed in samurai stuff yeah uh let me read you their biography Jared. well this was in january of this year maybe a lot's changed in the last nine months nine months nine months to the point where they go oh wait shit okay they said contemporary my bad but listen to this here's their bio uh they talk about some favorite shit whatever and then they go in short i'm a dedicated film fan who watches indiscriminately, but I have a clear and strong preference for contemporary Asian cinema and genre films. So I feel like this person is saying that they would like samurai films, but they don't. They want contemporary ones. Yeah, uh, apparently. I don't know if there's a lot of those. Well, their favorite films include Avalon from 2001, Enter the Void, the sex film, (laughs) Honey uh, Poo Poo? from 2011 huh. and dolls from 2002 uh all of their favorite films are japanese from what i can tell and then all of their like half star and one star films are like good criterion films that uh, we've seen like shop on main street cranes are flying uh like like just a- like actual good criterion movies they gave a half a star to okay. for some reason so well maybe uh, maybe this movie just sucks rj it just sucks. Kill? I mean, I don't know. It's probably not good, but I, I got some enjoyment. That's out good. Of it. I'm glad. I am glad, RJ. Over three days, Jared, I went, yeah. <laughs> what a win. Yeah. I said, I'm really doing it here, boys. Mm-hmm. Really doing it here. Any final thoughts on these two movies and the swordplay box set? 
You want to go get yourself a, a nice uh, katana for the wall? Uh, I'm going to get eight of them, I believe. But uh, I think it's safe to say I am... I am samurai out for a little bit. Unfortunate. For, I don't want to watch another samurai movie for at least two months. Uh oh. Why? <laughs> because uh, that you will not be getting your wish. As long as it's not next week, then I'll be it, fine. You're definitely well. You're not watching it next week because we got Ghoul School. Oh, that's my ghouly sound. That's your ghoulie sound. Well then, after the break, we pray for no more samurais. Until, Just un- un- until we need them, and then it'll be like, ooh, we guess you should have defunded the samurais. Hey, defund the samurais. 